Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross and today I review Sting. <laughs> so this is a science fiction horror film that is written and directed by Kiel Rochin Turner or something, starring Ryan Kaur, Isla Brown, Penelope Mitchell, uh, Robin Nevin, uh, Nomi Hazelhurst, uh, Sylvia Coloco, Danny Kim, and Jasmine Fowler. So, I've already told you the, the genre. So, in this film, uh, a 12 year old girl named Charlotte, which I think is you know, a huge reference to Charlotte's Web, which is about a spider, where she discovers that uh, this new little spider unaware that it's come from out of space and it starts to grow rapidly and soon finds that this is not a thing to be keeping as a pet it is growing and becoming a monster the more it eats and starts to like attack people in the apartments that she lives in an apartment building and wrapping them in webs but then she soon starts to fight back by mixing water and mothballs which seem to be the creature's weakness and plans to save her family and stop the monster that she has named Sting. So what did I like about this? Well, this was about 90 minutes long, so not a long film. I thought, hey, easy watch. And, uh, you know, they pretty much got to it straight away. We see, like, a tiny little ass meteor crash into a New York apartment building in a dollhouse where we see Sting, you know, crawling down in that a glimpse of what is to come. Uh, and... I thought we had some okay visual effects on Tiny Sting, but then as the creature got bigger, kind of reminded me of Eight-Legged Freaks and like the other film, Arachnophobia, only the spider was getting bigger and bigger. Not much is explained about it, but given that it's an alien spider, you know, I can you know accept the fact that, yeah, it's an alien, it's probably not going to be like a regular spider and has toxic venom. Uh, of course, there were a lot of dumb decisions made in this movie, especially from one guy who was analysing animals, like fish particularly, and wanted to see the spider grow bigger, and kept feeding it cats and that. I will warn you now, if you do love cats, dogs, parrots, rabbits, I'm afraid they do get the, you know, they do bite the dust. Except for the dog, but still, given the dog's circumstances, I hope they free the little doggy. We find out in a mid credit scene. There's two little mid credit scenes, by the way, in this film. But, um, yeah, a lot of the, the kills on the animals are off screens, but we get, like, we see what happens after. So if you're an animal lover, that's your warning there. Especially if you love spiders as well, because the spider does meet a demise. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I thought the practical effects on the spider, the puppetry from what I could gather, looked practical. But also the spider itself looked scary. I mean, people already have a common fear of spiders. Arachnophobia is one of the most common phobias around. I mean, I don't like spiders, but, you know, if they're in a cage or, a, well, not a cage, a tank, I'm thinking, that's okay, it's not going to get me. But, uh, yeah... I got a friend who really loves uh, spiders and she's held loads of them. You know, I kind of do want to get over that kind of phobia, but yeah, like I say, we're all scared of different things. But if I see a little, yeah, I guess the bigger ones are less scary because they're not as deadly as the tiny ones like Black Widows and that. Anyway, yeah, uh, but I thought this had a few good actors in there I recognized a few of them uh, in this and um, also you know it wasn't that slow paced given its time it, it, I guess it had to get going quickly but yeah at the end of the day this just had a B movie on it and some of the acting was I mean the kid actor they got for Charlotte um, uh, Isla Brown is it uh, she did a good performance, I think. I think that she has a bright future ahead of her. She chooses to stick to acting. Uh, but yeah, there were also a lot of dumb decisions made. But of course, what are you going to do? In horror films, people do make dumb decisions. Also, there wouldn't be the catastrophe, would they? Um, yeah, 
I, I thought it was watchable at least. You know, I mean, I waited till it was available to like rent and what have you, and I thought. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll give it a watch. I missed it in cinemas. So, anyway, Sting, what am I going to rate this one? I will give it. Um, I will give Sting. Um, I'll give it three stubs, I think, out of five. Three stubs out of five for Sting. So, there you go. There is my review on that one. Have you seen it? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description so feel free to check all that out. I've been Random Ross and this has been a revolting review so until next time, don't have nightmares.